Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today I'm gonna give you an introduction about sets. Alright, before we start the lesson, gusto ko munang ma-familiarize kayo with the following terms na kakailanganin natin sa lesson. Okay, first let's have integers. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng integers? Nung kayo ay nasa grade 6, napag-aralan nyo na to. Ito yung mga negative numbers, positive numbers, and zero. Ang ginamit kong symbol dito is infinity. Ibig sabihin yan yung walang katapusan. Okay? Walang katapusan ng negative numbers, lahat ng negative numbers, ganun din sa positive numbers. Lahat ng positive numbers, including zero. Okay? Next is the whole numbers. Kapag sinabi nating whole numbers, we begin with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Sunod naman ay ang counting numbers. From the word itself, counting, saan ba tayo nagsisimulang magbilang? From 1. Okay, so start tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Kailangan ma-familiarize ma kayo sa mga terms na nandito. Next is the even numbers. When we say even numbers, we start from 2, followed by 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. Ang add numbers naman ay opposite ng even numbers. Ang add numbers ay nasisimula naman tayo by 1, then 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on. Okay, ano naman yung prime numbers na tinatawag natin? So, I have here examples, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Kapag sinabi natin na prime numbers, ito yung mga number na ang factor lang ay 1 at ang kanyang sarili. Okay, yung 2. Kapag uh, kinuha natin ang factors ng 2, ay 1 lang at saka 2. Ganun din yung 3. 1 and 3 lang ang factors niya. Ulitin ko, when we say prime numbers, ito yung mga number na walang ibang factor kundi sa kanyang sarili at sa 1. Okay, so yung opposite naman ng prime numbers is the composite numbers. When we say composite numbers, mas marami na yung kanyang factors. For example, 4. Ang mga examples ko dito is 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and so on. Okay, so... Uh, bakit ba sinabing composite number ang 4? Because ang 4 ay mayroong tatlong factors. Unlike the number 2, 3, 5 na walang ibang factors kundi ang kanilang sarili at 1. So kung pag sinabi natin composite numbers, ito yung mga numbers na uh, 3 or more ang kanyang factors. 4. Ano-ano ba yung mga factors ng 4? We have 1, 2, and 4. Okay? Diba? When we multiply 1 and 4, we'll get the product of 4. Kapag naman minultiply natin yung 2, sa 2, 4 pa rin ang sagot. Kaya, meron siyang tatlong factors. Uh, ibig sabihin ng composite numbers ay 3 or more ang kanyang factors. Okay, next. We have the perfect square. Ito naman yung mga examples ko sa perfect square. We have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. Teacher, ano bang ibig sabihin ng perfect square? Bakit po ba sila tinatawag na perfect square? Okay. So, ang perfect square, ito yung uh, integer na square of an integer. In other words, ito yung product of same integer with itself. For example, yung 1. Minultiply mo siya sa sarili niya. 1 times 1. 1 ang sagot. Okay? Yung 4, 2 times 2 equals 4. We multiply natin yung 2 sa kanyang sarili. Yung 2 ay naka-square. And binibigyan tayo nito ng sagot na 4. Kaya yung 4 ay perfect square. Kasi meron siyang factor na 2 and 2. Okay? So, ganun din yung 9. 3 square. 3 times 3. Ganun din yung 16. 4 square. 4 times 4 equals 16. Kaya siya tinawag na perfect square. Okay, next. Multiples. Kapag sinabi naman natin na multiples, uh, pwede tayo dito mag-skip counting. Okay, for example, uh, multiples of 2. 
Ano-ano ba yung multiples of 2? We start from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Naging skip count tayo. Uh, kapag naman sinabi natin na multiples of 3, we begin with 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. So, ganun din sa 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Okay? So, sa multiples, tayo ay nag-skip count. Ano naman, teacher, yung factors na kanina mo pa sinasabi? Okay. Ang factor, ito yung number na uh, nadi-divide natin without any remainder. Or, o kaya naman, yung factors ay mga ay numbers na minumultiply natin together to get a product. Okay? Example, what are the factors of 9? We have 1 and 9. Kasi pag minultiply natin yung 1 and 9, makakakuha tayo ng sagot na 9. Ang 3 ay factor din ng 9. Kasi when we multiply 3 by 3, the answer is 9. Okay, ulitin ko, yung factors, ito yung mga number na kapag uh, dinivide natin ay walang remainder. At ito din yung mga numbers na minumultiply natin together to get a product. Alright, so ngayon na alam nyo na yung mga terms na possible na gamitin natin dito sa lesson. Gusto ko naman na uh, tignan nyo tong Okay, so I have here a column A, B, and C. At dito sa right side, may makikita kayo dyan ng mga uh, pictures ng cabbage, bracelet, ring, necklace, carrot, ball, toy car, okra, and a Barbie doll. Ngayon, paano ba natin siya uh, ikakategorize? Itong mga nasa uh, kanan na yan. Okay dito sa letter A. Okay. So, sa letter A, I have here a cabbage, meron din akong carrot, at okra. Okay. Sa column B naman, ay pinagsama-sama ko dyan ang necklace, bracelet, at ring. At sa column C naman, ay pinagsama-sama ko dyan ang toy car, ang ball, at ang Barbie doll. Okay? So, sa set A, meron ako dyan na cabbage, carrot, and okra. So, sa set A is, obviously, it is a set of vegetables. Sa B naman, pinagsama-sama ko dyan ang necklace, bracelet, at ring. So, yung set B naman, is very obvious that it is a set of jewelries. At sa set C naman ay pinagsama-sama ko dyan ang toy car, yung ball, at yung Barbie doll. So, sa set C is a set of toys. So, paano ko yan babasahin? Halimbawa, yung A. Nakalagay, A is equal to set of vegetables. Set A is a set of vegetables. Set B is a set of jewelries. And set C is a set of toys. Eh, teacher, ano po ba yung ibig sabihin kasi ng set? Ang set is a group or collection of objects. Paano mo pinapangalanan ang set? A set is named using a capital letter. Okay, tandaan nyo yan. Pinapangalanan natin ng isang set using a capital letter. Each object in a set is called an element of a set. Okay, tandaan nyo yan. Lahat ng nasa loob ng set na yon ang tawag doon ay element. At ang element ay may symbol na ganito. Okay, this is the symbol used for element. E eh, teacher, paano naman po kung halimbawa hindi naman siya element ng set? Ganito naman ang gagamitin nating symbol. Okay? This is the symbol used for not an element. Okay. So, I have here an example. Number 1, set N is a set of even numbers less than 10. Kanina, sabi ko sa inyo, ang even numbers ay nagsisimula tayo sa 
2 and then followed by 4. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Diba? Dun sa introduction ko kanina. Okay, now. Set N is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Bakit hanggang 8 lang? Kasi ang hinihingi lang dyan is even numbers lang na less than 10. So, ano-ano ba yon? Yung mas kakaunti sa 10 na even numbers. We have 2, 4, 6, and 8. 2, 4, 6, and 8 are called members or elements of a given set. Or 2, 4, 6, 8 are elements of set N. Okay? Sagutan nga natin to. 2 blank set N. Is it an element of N or not an element of N? Yung to ba ay element of N o hindi element ng N? Of course, 2 is an element of set N. Okay, next. Let's try this. 3 blank set N. Yung 3 ba ay element or not an element ng set N? Okay, 3 is not an element of set N because 3 is an odd number. Okay, next. 8. Is it an element of set N or not an element of set N? It is an element of set N. Okay, let's have example number 2. Set I is a set of all positive Integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on are called elements of a given set. These are elements of set I. Okay, so I have here exercises. I want you to fill in the blank with element or not an element. I have here set A is a set of days in a week. Set B is a set of counting numbers. And set C is a set of factors of 28. I want you to answer 1 to 6. Alright, so kung natuto sa lesson na to, please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng tutorial videos. Thank you and stay healthy.